Oklahoma. You can also... Now I'm behind you with this here gun. <laughs> you got to get up pretty early in the morning to fool old Nicodemus. And it looks like you didn't get up early enough this morning, pilgrim. It's the Gospel Bill Show, featuring Gospel Bill, his sidekick, Nicodemus, Miss Lana, good old Elmer Barnes, and the entire Dry Gulch Gang. I've had a hard time getting in to see you, mister. I've been waiting out there for two days. Well, uh, you know the governor's job. It's, uh, busy, busy, busy. Yeah, well, you better get unbusy. And just remember who helped get you elected governor. Now, I've been waiting on you to get rid of Gospel Bill. What? And so far, you hadn't done anything. I told you that that was a difficult request. Well, all we gotta do is send us a tax auditor from the territory, and he goes down, checks the books, doctors them a little bit, and then we make our accusation. Well, you be, what are you waiting on? Turn yourself into a territorial tax auditor, boy. I don't make mistakes when it comes to figuring folks' taxes here. Oh, but, sir, I'm afraid you do. I've discovered that you have embezzled the people of Dry Ghost County out of approximately $2,000. That's the most ridiculous charge I've ever heard. It is not ridiculous. I can prove it by your books. You, sir, are under arrest. And these territorial rangers are here to see to it that you don't resist. Now, boys, ain't it just too bad the sheriff embezzled money from all the fine citizens of Dry Gulch? But we're going to have to take him to the Capitol. Only thing is, he ain't going to make it to the Capitol. Because we're going to kill him. <laughs> Get on that horse. Don't try and escape. <laughs> ah, drop that hardware. Come on, drop it. Let me have that handcuff key. Turn around and get them hands up there. You get over there. Boy, Nicodemus and I are glad to see you. Let's get these guys to jail. Uh, we can't. Oh, we got the drop on them. Sure we can. Oh, trust me, we can't. Gospel Bill. God, that doesn't work. Gotta get out of here. Hey, wait a minute. Did I hear that cowboy with the funny-looking turned-up hat say his gun didn't work? His gun didn't work! Get them guns and let's get them guys! Wait a minute. Before we go, we gotta let Bedlow know what's going on. Come on! Well, I'm so excited, I don't know what to do with myself. We finally got rid of Gospel Bill. He's gonna escape, and then they're gonna shoot him. And that's the end of Gospel Bill, and I can mine for gold without any interference from that sheriff. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be just great. Mm -hmm. Got some bad news, Bedlow. Oh, don't tell me. Let me guess. It took you six bullets to get rid of Gospel Bill instead of five. No, it's a lot worse than that. Well, well what happened? He got away. He got away?! What do you mean he got away? You mean he didn't even have a gun? Why in the world did you let him get away? Some guy with a turned up hat came and got the drop on us and, well, he got away. All right. All right. Listen to me, you little creep. I want you to get out there with these rangers and I want you to track him down. And don't you come back until you get rid of him, you understand? Yeah, I, I got you. Bedlow, you got my personal guarantee. Gospel Bill be dead by sundown. All right, I'm gonna be counting on you guys. And don't you come back until you get him. This is just awful. This is just awful. Mm. All right, boys, we better find Gospel Bill. We're out of a job. Cobb, you gotta pick up the trail. Okay, boys, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for helping Gospel Bill. Lord, I know and you know that he's not Hello guilty. Hello there, sister. Luther Bedlow, you're the reason Gospel Bill's been arrested. Now, wait a minute. I had nothing to do with that. Besides, I thought you stood for law and order. I do. Well, then, good. You won't mind putting up this here wanted poster. Wanted Gospel Bill, dead or alive, preferably dead. Luther Bedlow, how dare you 
accused Gospel Bill of being a criminal. How dare you destroy the taxpayer's property? You get out of here. Right now, get I'm a out of here. I'm a getting, I'm a getting. Wounded? Well, oh, that's Gospel Bill. He ain't no crook. Well, I see you've read my warning poster here. Are you going to help me capture this outlaw, Gospel Bill? I wouldn't help you do anything, Luther Bedlow. Besides, Gospel Bill ain't no crook. Oh, that's what you think. While posing as a law-abiding sheriff, Gospel Bill has cheated the citizens of Dry Gulch County out of $2,000. He deserves to go to jail. No, the Gospel Bill wouldn't do that. He's a Christian. Oh, Christian. That's what you think. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. We're going to get him, dead or alive. <laughs> oh, I need to talk to Miss Lana. Miss Lana, Miss Lana. Do you know that there is a wanted poster on your porch for Gospel Bill? Oh, that doesn't surprise me, but there's one right here and it's ripped up. That Luther Bedlow makes me so mad. Do you know what he's trying to do? Well, he's trying... Well, let me tell you. He's trying to make it look like Gospel Bill has embezzled money. Hmm. How much has he embezzled? Elmer, he hasn't embezzled any. Well, I knew that. I was just checking to see what side you were on. Oh, Elmer. The worst part of it is, they are trying to kill Gospel Bill. They're, they're, they're going to kill him? Well, they're planning on it, but Nicodemus is going to rescue him. Oh, Nicodemus? Elmer? Well, he ain't no Gospel Bill or nothing. Of course, I guess he's all we got. Well, Elmer, I've got a plan of my own that maybe we can help. I figure if we go to the jail and maybe we can sneak around, that maybe we can find some evidence that will clear Gospel Bill. Okay. I'm behind you all the way. Lady first. Bear family. He's the polar bear. And though he looks quite gentle here, in the wild, he can be ferocious. Polar bears have to be good hunters because the places where they live around the Arctic Circle have no plant food. This means that the polar bear is a carnivorous animal, a meat eater. Polar bears usually eat seals and other animals. Polar bears have a keen sense of smell. They can smell food as much as 10 miles away. That's what I call using the old schnozola. These bears have a very thick fur and dense layers of fat beneath their skin to protect them from the cold of the Arctic. They not only withstand the cold Arctic air, they even swim in the water with gigantic ice cubes floating everywhere around them. I think I smell a hot dog. If I weren't in this compound, I'd have myself three hot dogs, two hamburgers, a pizza, and a seal burger. And, uh, pull the onions, please. God made the polar bears especially for the places where they live. He knew that they would be swimming to catch their prey, so he made their front paws to be webbed, kind of like a duck's feet. And because the polar bear's body is narrow and pointed in the front and wider toward the rear, it slices easily through the water. On land, these bears can run up to 35 miles per hour. Ladies and gentlemen, that's faster than the amazing Carl Lewis or any other human being. The white fur enables the polar bear to camouflage himself while he hunts. Since there are no trees or rocks to hide behind on the ice floes, this is essential. During the colder months of the year, polar bears live in dens dug deeply into the snow or hillsides. This is where the mother polar bears give birth to their young, usually twins. At birth, the cub is only 10 inches long. That's half the length of a human baby. But before he's finished, a polar bear can weigh 500 pounds and measure 11 feet in length. Wow, these guys are awesome. Hey, look. Look, there's a hat. This ain't just a hat. This is the sheriff's hat. Come on up, boys. Nick 
the demons, hurry up. They're right behind us. I'm trying, Gospel Bill. The horse won't go very good. I think he's coming up lane. All right. I don't think he's going to make it. All right. We can make use of this fork in the trail. We've got to be right behind us. Now, let's send our horses on down that way. Maybe when they come to this fork, they'll follow the horses instead of us. Sounds like a good idea to me. All right. Come on. Yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. 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 be some evidence that we can find that can help Gospel Bill. You look in the bookcase and I'll look in the desk. Well, okay, but I don't know what I'm looking for. right there. There's my name. Elmer P. Barnes. Tax is paid in full. You better believe they're paid in full. Took a whole lot of warmth to pay that off. Elmer, did you say taxes? Oh, yeah. Well, that could be what we're looking for. Bring that book over here. Ooh. Wait a minute. That's not what I paid in taxes last year. It's not? No. sets of horse prints down this trail. But I've got two sets of blue prints running up this trail. Well, must have ditched their horses for some reason. Well, we don't care about those horses. It's Gospel Bill we want. Come on, men. Let's go. Ha! 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 Nicodemus, that was a mighty brave thing you did a while ago. You saved my life. Oh, it weren't nothing. Oh, sure it was, Nicodemus. You got to jump on those guys with a gun that you knew didn't work. Oh. Listen, I can't figure out why those guys are after me. Well, you know Luther Bedlow's behind this whole thing, don't you? Oh, that answers everything. Bedlow's the one that had that tax man come in to accuse me of embezzling money. He wants to get to the gold that's in Dry Gulch. Well, listen, we got no guns. We got no horses. We're going to have to use the Word of God to get out of this one. What scripture are we going to stand on this time? Isaiah 54, 17 is a good one. No weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. Yeah. Now, listen, you go that way, I'll go this way. We'll meet at the old Thompson place. If we can get them to split up and follow our trails, Maybe we can get the drop on them. Okay. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. That's right. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Mm -hmm. 